Hello everyone. So you want to know how to make a table that doesn't take the whole width of your Notion page. Now, uh, to understand what happens here is when you type in or when you create a bl block that's uh, basically a, a table or not like an inline table, basically, um, you have to realize that uh, what happens uh, is that this part and this part will try to expand itself to fill the whole page, especially if you uh, change the settings here to full width. Uh, so uh, when this happens, um, this is this is just the way Notion is set up. Um, now to make this uh, small, not small, but you know to resize it or have the make it have the ability to resize, you have to realize that uh, the blocks in Notion kind of uh, work differently depending on what kind of blocks you're making. So if you're making something like a toggle list, uh, so toggle would be like, it looks like that. You can write like whatever you want, and then you, you make a new kind of toggle list again uh, with something else. Now, what you can do here is you go to the six, what do you call those? <laughs> I, I'm going to call them the six dots, right? You only click that and you drag that all the way to the to the right of the page. And then suddenly you see this little, little um, white, not blue, white, sorry, it's a little blue line. This tells you, like, since it's vertical, it means whatever you do, it'll be on the right of the vertical. But if you put it here, it means it'll be on the bottom. So it kind of tells you like where it's going to get flipped like that, or it's going to do this like that. So uh, the first thing, the first idea you need to have in mind is uh, that certain blocks can do this, but the inline tables, table blocks cannot do that. So with that in mind, there is this new notion feature called uh, uh, what is it called? The, the toggle headings. So if you just write heading and then you uh, scroll down, you see, oh, there's toggle headings. So here you can just write like uh, whatever, the title of you know, uh, the title of whatever you want to put within that heading. So um, let's just say you're making a table for about things to do for today. All right, things to do for today. Uh, so you write that. And you uh, you open it like that, and then you drop your uh, inline table under it. So you, you see how this line goes under the whole page? You don't want to do that. You have to go like slightly inside so that the line only goes into that block. See, so yeah, it's within that little light blue kind of highlight. So now you have like a resized uh, table right here. And... Look right here. If you kind of hover over here, you see this little gray line, which was made from, I believe it's it was made from making that block right there. Now, and you can actually resize that to whatever you want. And the the fun thing is, like, you can create another block, like, uh, right, like that, and then make a third column, like, like so. Sorry. So now you have three columns. So. You can do make this table here uh, with under this toggle list and under this toggle list as well. Here, I'll even show you, you that you can make um, an inline table here if you don't believe me. Um, inline, try to write table. How about I just write database? Yeah, that's better. See, you see another one there. Uh, and then you go here. Uh, Okay, so you can so so you can see I can resize these tables and uh, they're inside the toggle list. I'm not sure if you can do it without it. There's like other ways, but you cannot just straight up make the columns and then drop in the tables. You have to kind of like do either the toggle list way or there's another way where you create a page and then you drop the uh, the table in that page and then what and then you go go to the parent page and then you turn that page into text and that would kind of have the similar effect but 
Uh, the toggle way is what I prefer because it's easy to move things around that way. The page one, just for me, it takes an extra step and I don't like that. So I, ho I hope uh, this helped you.